Hello friends, welcome back to Katarna Kimmi channel. In this video, I'll be providing a very quick update regarding the court cancellation for the rules created by Department of Homeland Security and Department of Labor this year. If you remember, there were a lot of rules that, we, that kept coming just before the elections and uh, a uh, lot of people employers employees were uh, getting confused so all of those rules most of those rules were cancelled so this will be very very important update uh, for you to know so stay tuned and if you are here for the first time please do not forget to subscribe to katana kimi channel for entertainment and information related videos do not forget to watch until the end All right, guys. If you remember, uh, in the year, in this year, 2020, there were a lot of immigration rules, especially uh, since uh, June, I guess, uh, with the travel ban that got started. A lot of rules were coming each and every month, and people were really getting confused because how to proceed forward, and they don't know like how post elections these rules gonna stay forward or uh, uh, you know they're gonna go away or not. So. Luckily, glad that uh, uh, just two days ago, the court cancelled the orders. Uh, the court cancelled the court cancelled the orders that were issued by Department of Homeland Security and Department of Labor. If you remember, in the month of October, Department of Labor has issued a new rule stating that it increased the prevailing wage uh, for the H-1B workers. If you remember, almost a new wage level one person would be paid as much as equivalent to the current wage level 3 so like an entry level entry level engineer must it will be equal to a senior engineer level position so not position the salary in the in terms of salary wise so uh, that was a huge change for employers to digest because employers cannot come and suddenly increase the salaries right so it was effective immediately in the month of october that was another uh, big issue too apart from that if you remember there were a lot of restrictions on the H1B, especially they changed the, uh, they wanted to change the definition of the specialty occupation H1B limiting to very certain amount of categories. Uh, and also they have changed a lot of eligibility criteria in terms of uh, employer employer relationship. And also they said that there could be uh, increase of H1B site visits, which are happening currently, but they said like those site visits will be increasing and also if the people do not cooperate or if they do not get a proper answer they can directly revoke the h1b on site itself so these kind of rules were coming and also the important rule was limiting h1b validity to one year especially for uh, consulting workers like a uh, third party workers so that was a huge change actually so two days ago court has cancelled all of those rules court has cancelled all of those rules uh, saying that uh, I mean court has cancelled all of those rules provided by DHS and DOL so uh, DHS and DOL did not provide the commenting period okay as far as whenever any new rule goes into picture there has to be a commenting period so uh, if you remember the premium processing for the H4 and dependence change of status that did not I mean that law has been signed by president but it is not effective today because it has to go through the whole rule making process that will take several months correct so in the same way they, this should have been followed if they wanted to really change this rule but they did not do that in this case they provided the they, they provided the reason of the covid 19 uh, as the main reason and they said like uh, the increase in the prevailing wage was uh, effective immediately in the month of October and all the other H1B rules that I just described uh, before they were effective from December 7th. So uh, if you remember like I mean th those those things really hurt a lot of companies employees like employers cannot suddenly increase their salaries because they have a lot of budgeting uh, that they fix for upcoming years. So going through so whenever dhs or dol want such rules they have to go through this rule making process and they need to give sufficient time for everyone so that they will be coming up with alternate options so court cancel all these rules that is really nice actually but uh, please do remember that if they, those are not effective today and we don't know how they will be treating uh, all the applicants like if you have applied for the extension with the new prevailing wage level set by DOL in the month of, from the month of October we don't know 
how they will be treating all the scenarios we don't know how they'll be treating all the existing applications so let's wait as of now while i'm uh, while i was making this video uh, we did not receive any notice from uscas or uh, department of homeland security or department of labor so i i hope they'll be uh, they'll be sending an update very soon i mean the one thing is like uh, they can appeal the decision with the court or they can what they can do is that they can implement all these rules going through the normal rule making process in that case it's going to take uh, several months like maybe uh, 10 months uh, there are 10 steps in that process so it's going to take several months or else they can straight away uh, cancel out cancel out all these things and they can continue what they are doing right now so let's wait for the let's wait for the decision all the best for your future guys let's see how uh, uscs comes up in the upcoming months all right guys while i was making this video i was editing this video and was about to publish this uh, a new update came from department of labor uh, so i thought i would squeeze into this video uh, these days it's really really uh, crazy the rules get published and within a no matter of time they go back and whatnot and whatever anyways but this is a good news so department of uh, labor came back and it clearly said that it will be accepting the uh, court's order and it will be going back to the old prevailing wage data so that's really very good news uh, but uh, there will be confusion between already submitted processing and uh, applications future applications anyways you're gonna use the new corrected prevailing wage data so uh, basically what they told is that uh, they'll be stop uh, they'll be accepting the court order regarding the new prevailing wage data so they will be correcting and the uh, flc data center website will be updated with the appropriate with the corrected prevailing wage data information from uh, today they said like december 4th 12 pm eastern time so you'd be able to see your new corrected prevailing wage data basically it's the old prevailing wage data okay uh, so they'll be correcting that it will be available from December 4th 12 p.m. Eastern time in FLC data center website if you want to uh, if you want to review your prevailing wage data apart from that uh, if you have already submitted the LC applications so they will still continue to process all those LC applications that were submitted until this morning December 4th 5 59 a.m eastern time so they will still process all those lcs and uh, they'll be providing the final decision uh, for all the prevailing uh, for all the prevailing wage data requests for uh, in regarding to your uh, already submitted perm applications those will be temporarily suspended but anyways you'll be able to submit a new lcs beginning december 9th in their website so from today to december 9th the flag system will be online but anyways you will not your employer will not be able to submit anything so that's your employer that that is taken care by your employer attorney so you don't need to worry about uh thing but i just wanted to let you know about the procedure regarding the prevailing wage uh, request system that will be updated from december 15th so that will be available from december 15th Anyways, it's very good news. So you might have a big question. What happens to already submitted LC applications and perm applications in between October 7th and today uh, with the new prevailing wage data or whatnot? So what they said that if, they, if there is an incorrect uh, wage data, uh, please contact your employer. So there will be, uh, they can contact uh, the director through flag, uh, flag system or email or mail to correct the way to correct the way prevailing wage data and so that way you are up to date and everyone will be on the same page but guys so this is a christmas period covid period so expect uh, lots of delays uh, but we need to be very patient although it's a very good news so let's be patient and hope for the best i wish if this video was useful please like the video and if you did not like it please dislike the video and provide your feedback in the comments and as well as if you have any questions please put them in the comments and i'll be more than happy to review and answer, answer them back to you all right guys corona is not yet over do not forget to wear masks when you go outside stay home stay safe bye